I'm a graphite artist. Um, I use, you know, a simple um, mechanical pencil um, for all of my artworks. Carmen Verdi draws one straight line after another, after another, creating beautifully intricate art. But for Carmen, his journey in becoming an artist has been anything but a straight line. Bullied as a kid in a military family that moved around a lot, Carmen would turn to his notebooks for companionship, drawing doodles inspired by his favorite comic books. I wanted to always be an artist. I, um, I loved to do it. I was hoping to go to art school, but um, you know, our family couldn't afford that. So right after, the, um, right after I graduated, I joined the military. Um, and then it kind of, you know, floated away. In 2005, Carmen became an inmate at the Massachusetts House of Corrections. Behind bars for months for a crime he would later prove he didn't commit. The first week, week and a half was really difficult. Um, I didn't know what to do. I, you know, I was stressed. I was, I was numb. I, I had no emotions. Um, but then just one day, just I, I, I had a piece of um, paper, a pencil. Um, I started drawing for the guy that was in the cell with me, and um, it just started from there. I, I left there after 91 days, and when I got out, I, 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 I continued to um, draw. It was in that 90-day stay where he saw the lights that would change the track of his life. And the experience remains one he considers a blessing. We'd come home every day after work and I would draw something. And, um, you know, it started off with just baseball players and, you know, things from magazines. Um, and then I started realizing, you know, that I wanted to draw people and I wanted to draw groups of people. His focus has shifted a bit since the pandemic began. Carmen has traded crowds of people for landscapes. Recently, last four months, I've been just hiking like, um, like there's no tomorrow. And while I was hiking and getting to the peaks of some of these mountains and just the inspiration and just what's up there and, and what you see, it, it just inspired me to start drawing um, those pictures. Carmen runs an interior painting company during the day and says he spends his working hours dreaming of what he'll draw once he puts down the paintbrush and picks up his pencil. I think we all have to um, find our little um, escape route and, and this, uh, it just happened to be mine that I was doing when I was a, a little kid. And he keeps dreaming hoping that one day the desperation that led him to heal through drawing will end up being his ultimate calling. We all have the dreams. Um, I do want to open a small gallery with my work. Um, you know, maybe introduce some other artists out there too that are looking to be exposed. Um, but I, I just want to draw. I just want to wake up in the morning, go for a hike, come home, have my coffee and sit down and draw. Nottingham artist Gretchen Woodman turns her pencils into powder before creating stunning images of animals. You know, it's something touches me in the expression that, that makes me want to um, draw them. I use graphite powder and uh, pastel powder for a lot of my work. Um, and it, it's kind of one of, it's a um, technique used in medical illustration, actually. You color onto a piece of sandpaper and uh, it makes the powder, it makes the uh, carbon pencil or the pastel stick um, very fine, turns it into a fine dust. And then I pick that up with a brush and just paint it directly onto the surface. I like this medium for to use with animals because it just creates a soft, mysterious effect 
Gretchen says she has a deep respect for non-human lives and feels the transparency and soft edges of her techniques help to show off the vulnerability of animals living in a human world. I'm fascinated with everything. My local animals, my pets, and then all the animals of the world, endangered species, everything. It puts such a thin tint down with each pass of the brush that you really have a lot of control over how light and dark, how fast the light and dark um, change. So, so it gives you a, you know, a drawing method that uh, gives you a lot of photographic control. Gretchen works in charcoals and acrylics, but no matter the method, the subject matter and the overall effects remain rooted. The latest thing I've been working on are these large uh, full-size animals, which the uh, zebra behind me here. Um, and it's made with three layers. The back layer is solid white fabric and uh, the, the front two are silk, very, very thin, uh, transparent silk. So I paint the animal three times and then put them in front of each other. The final pieces are moved by fans, bringing the animals to life. It's, it's kind of elusive like the wild animal, so it, it all seems to, to play into the theme very well. The same animal, always a different view never to be repeated again.